so guys in the last video i made a review about the wave ui v2 and in this video i'll be covering every customizations including the features of the wave ui v2 in detail and let me tell you that i made this custom skin using a wallpaper so i hope you will like it if you like it make sure to comment me down and let's get the video started so firstly talking about the wallpaper features what you need to do just uh, keep your two fingers on the home screen keep your two fingers on the home screen and swipe them like this and on the left bottom you can find an option to access the wallpaper so let me just click on it first so as you can see you get a lot of wallpapers and also the MIUI 14 exclusive wallpapers which are included in this MIUI 14 and you can also find other wallpapers like this nature patterns which looks really cool though and these are also MIUI 14 exclusive now going back you can also find an option for the my wallpapers from where you can access the wallpapers which are pre-included with the system and you can also apply the wallpapers from your gallery now clicking on the must have wallpapers wallpapers option you will find the wallpapers which are based on abstract i would say and i really like this one so let me just apply it so yeah i really i really like this one so i don't have a girlfriend though yeah <laughs> so let me just apply it on my home screen and as you can see this looks really cool now going back again to the wallpaper section you will find an option called the super wallpapers which was i would say included with the miui 11 or 12 but still it's one of my favorites so if you don't know about it let me show you so uh, i'll just apply this wallpaper first okay so i'll just apply it now what you need to do just turn on the always on display from your uh, settings so let me just uh, uh, turn it on and now Turn off your lock screen and as you can see this wallpaper looks really amazing on my lock screen and also on the home screen. These are exclusive MIUI 14 and also I will not say MIUI 14, MIUI live wallpapers and I really like them. Now moving back again to the wallpaper section you will find an option called find more from where you can download a lot of wallpapers from the MIUI uh, 14 theme store and it consist of i would say thousands of wallpapers if you don't like the pre-built wallpapers so yeah that's for the wallpaper section now let me just talk about the widgets so guys moving on to the widget section as you can see that i have finally cleared my app vault so what you need to do you need to just hold a widget and click on the remove option to remove the widget and now as you can see there are chinese texts in the widget so let me tell you how you can remove it just swipe with your fingers and click on the settings option and here you will find an option called uh, remove text from widgets just enable it and as you can see it looks really clean though now moving on to the widget section you will see that there are a lot of chinese widgets but let me tell you there are also a lot of english widgets you just need to explore these widgets so let me select this shinchan one i'm a big shinchan fan you know and click on the action comment so i'm gonna add it on my home screen now as you can see when i tap on it the dp gets changed so let me just tap on it the dp gets changed and i can also uh, keep it on my app vault if i like to so as you can see and i can also edit it as i want so i'm gonna keep the shin chan it looks really cute <laughs> yeah i'm a shin chan fan and there are a lot of widgets i mean a lot of widgets in the window you just need to explore everyone because not every uh, widget is in Chinese, there are a lot of widgets in English too and there are also widgets without any text like this one so let me just add it on my uh, screen and if you want to move it you can also move it too on your app vault so I'm gonna move it to my app vault because I like to keep my home screen really clean so let me just move it to my app vault so yeah that's for the widgets there are a lot of widgets I'm seeing again and I hope Xiaomi gets uh, the widget language problem fixed in the MIUI global version so yeah that's for the widgets now let me talk about the launcher customizations and features so guys let me tell you that this room comes with the advanced launcher and shout out to MK for providing this now going to the settings of this launcher you can see that there is an option called the transition effects by which you can change the transition effect of the home screen so yeah like this as you can see so I kept the cube one now going back again to the settings you can also change the default uh, home screen 
Now clicking on the more option you will find a lot of options for customization like the animation speed you can change it from balance, fast, everything and also relaxed. Now going to assistant navigation options you will find an option called the button shortcuts by which you can set uh, shortcuts like power plus back I have kept it for turning on my torch as you can see when I click on it uh, my torch gets turned on and moving back again to the launcher settings you will find an option called home screen there's an option called background by which you can control the opacity and going back to the launcher settings you will also find an option called the screen by which you can set your default app world and I would like to keep it as it is cause I don't like the google app world uh, going back again you will find options for uh, customizing your search bar provider and also you can change the home screen layout from here and I would like to keep it as it is because it will mess up my home screen. Now going on to the icons option, there are a lot of customizations for customizing your app icons like you can increase or decrease the icon size, moreover you can also change the icon style from here and you will find a lot of icons in the Xiaomi theme store as you can see there are a lot of icons available in the Xiaomi theme store. Now going back into the launcher settings you can also see that you can customize the reflection saturation, shadow size and much more from this uh, launcher setting for the icons and I would really like to thank the developer for providing such features because it will really help to customize the home screen and the app droid to next level. So guys going back to the launcher settings you also get other features like app opening and hiding speed control like you can increase or decrease the app opening speed moreover you also get an option to remove the unlock animation so yeah these were the most important and uh, helpful customizations and features in this launcher and i'm really thankful to the developer for providing such animations and such settings in this launcher so yeah that's for the launcher customizations and features now let's talk about the qs panel customizations so guys talking about the qs panel customizations you get a dedicated app called the roam control so let me just search it you get this dedicated app to control a qs panel and when i open it you can see an option called the extended power menu if i disable it you only get one option to reboot and power off your device but if i enable it you get all the options like fast boot recovery and everything and you can directly control it from the power button now going into the three dots you can also customize the theme of the app you can set it in light theme or dark theme as you want now going back here comes the main twist the control center i mean you can literally control everything for the qs panel from here i mean look at it just look at it if i want to increase the blur radius you can see that everything gets black but if i decrease it you can see literally everything on your device so yeah that's for the blur radius and now moving on to the number of rows and columns customizations you can also uh, no, uh, increase or decrease the number of columns so you just need to apply it and as you can see that the number of rows has decreased now you can also change the number of uh, sorry the number of columns i was saying uh, you can also change the number of rows from here if i want to increase it just click on apply and as you can see that the number of rows and columns had increased also so i would like to keep it in two because i don't want to mess with my qs panel I want to keep it as it is so yeah that's for the QS panel customizations of romance or uh, roman column and you can stop it get some help you can also select the animations for your QS panel now moving down you can also set the analog or hand clock as you wish to keep in your QS panel so i love the hand clock so going down you can also set a lot of features for this qs panel so yeah that's for the qs panel customizations and features and moreover you can also control the media uh, directly from the qs panel like the spotify youtube vans everything so yeah that's for the qs panel settings now let's talk about the features and customizations you will get in the main settings of this custom room so guys moving on to the settings you get an option called the wallpaper and personalization so let me just open it so after opening as you can see you can customize your wallpaper your app icons your notification light font size and style and much more now going back you also get an option called the always on display and lock screen so let me just open it after that let me just click on the always on display option and as you can see you get a lot of 
customizations for your always on display some of them are in chinese but i hope it might get fixed in the global release of this miui 14 rom for poco x4 pro 5g but for now it's based on chinese now going uh, at the bottom of the uh, always on display and lock screen options you get three types of charging animations so let me show you how it works when i connect a charger So moving on to the sound settings, you get the option for Dolby Atmos. You can also customize the Dolby Atmos because it has got the sound equalizer according to which you can customize the sound effects according to your sound taste. You also get the Mi Sound Enhancer but it only works for the headphones. So that's for the sound setting. Now let's talk about the other features and customizations. So moving on to the additional settings, you also get an option called the memory extension by which you can extend your RAM up to 5 GB and I don't think it's so much helpful but yeah you can extend your RAM but you will need to reboot your device again. Now moving back, you also get an option called the screen time on your settings so let me just open it by which you can see the screen on time of your device which is customly added by the developer I think so yeah that's for all the features and customizations in the settings now let's talk about the features and customizations you get in the game space so guys right now I have launched BGMI and as you can see you get this exclusive game turbo inbuilt in this Dave UI V2 and moreover you also get all the graphics settings unlocked in this BGMI so yeah that's for the game settings and now let's talk about the most important feature of this Wave UI V2, the advanced gallery. So guys, right now I'm shooting a video on this Mini UI Leica modded camera and I'll be editing it on the advanced gallery app I would say of Wave UI V2 and I'll let you know that why it's known as the advanced gallery app. So let me just click on the edit option and as you can see it's getting imported and now look at this. Just look at this, you can trim a video on the go and you can also add filters to enhance the video quality as you can see you get Leica exclusive filters and all the other filters in this gallery app and moreover you can also enhance the brightness saturation and much more from this gallery app and apart from this you can add custom captions of different fonts. Now if you click on this pro option, let me just click on it, so yeah. If you just click on it just look at it I mean just look at it you get other features too you can add music text and more in a video so I would say that this is a on-the-go video editor or a advanced gallery app right now I understand that why this is known as the advanced gallery app of this Mi UI or the Wave UI V2 so I'm really thankful to the developer for adding these features so these are the customizations and features for this Wave UI V2. So before getting on to the outro, let me say you that I'm also bringing a photography test of this new UI Leica modded camera and I hope you will also enjoy that. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it with your friends and most importantly subscribe to our channel. So stay tuned for the latest updates. So goodbye and take care.